structural engineering terms, they've become works of art to us. It's something which is very strong in Roger Stoke Harbour's um, uh, approach to buildings and, and in supporting that I think we've genuinely got something of high quality. I think the way the architect has featured the steelwork and the different colours really bring out the, the, the best in the steelwork. The perimeter bracing is attached to the building at a, what we call node points and these are arranged on a six storey interval vertically and three storeys horizontally. Uh, the, the actual forces are transmitted, the wind forces for example, act on the building itself and they are transferred into the bracing system by these cantilever spindles. It was uh, quite a, a bold step I think when we finally decided to bite the bullet and put forward this idea of pushing the external, the, the perimeter bracing system to the outside of the buildings, actually pushing it external of the envelope. And that's what you see now. I, I think, you know, without a doubt, that is the, the, the one feature that stands out and really catches the eye. To be frank, we didn't set out with a brief to the architect saying, do something with steel. Those, are, those ideas came from the architects and the engineers. But um, we uh, grabbed hold of it, basically, and saw um, with Roger Stoke Harbour that the expressed external steel gave the buildings a real strong character. They, um, they tied the buildings together, quite literally, <laughs> excuse the pun, um, and, uh, and, and gave a, a, a sense of place to um, every location within development. There's two really key drivers, the accuracy and the aesthetic appearance. And being a composite building where the steel and concrete have to work together, that put pretty special demands on the way the steelwork had to be a fabricated and then put together on site. In particular, we had to place the nodes, which you see now visibly, we had to place those into a concrete building during construction of a concrete, which meant we had to use quite a lot of temporary works to hold them in position. It was essential that after the concrete had been cast that the nodes were in the exact location. And we even went to the extent of doing a complete trial of that in our factory in Bolton where we mocked up the node, set it up on temporary works and then gave it a bit of um, knocking around of it with a crane to make sure that whatever happened on site, uh, the node would remain in the right position during the subsequent works. I don't think um, really there was any other material that could um, perform in the same way as steel could do in terms of resisting the forces that are applied to it in such an elegant manner. It gave a real clarity to the buildings. The, the structure sits in its own space then there's the elevations and it's very ordered and very sort of easy to understand when you look at it from the outside. What's really nice is that I think the general public who don't normally see or appreciate the steelwork in any project has a chance to walk up and touch it and see it at close quarters. Mm -hmm.